I call it my time travel series. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm either going all the way back in time with the subject matter, with the, with the story, or I'm, I'm here now in the present and looking at what's happening. Because memory is important. It's important to remember what happened. You know, I firmly believe in that saying, in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you come from. So the black experience is not linear, right? So it's important while analyzing history in America to also look at, you know, European history, just to try to analyze how we ended up where we are. At the same time, it's extremely important to celebrate the black body. And I always say female body because I'm a woman, so that's what I know most and feel most comfortable representing. Um, and also because the, the black female body has always been fetishized. So it's to take that away for a moment and really just show our beauty. My love for the corset didn't begin with this series. I was on the goth scene as a teenager for a long, long time. And on that scene, um, you know, you wear corsets and heels and it's very reminiscent of that period. And so um, I always had this love for the corset. I've been wearing them since. And so that's where my love for it began. But then, you know, moving forward, I would often go to the museums and look at these amazing paintings. Um, and these Renaissance paintings of these women wearing these, these gowns. Um, and so my love for those paintings really is what inspired the series and um, the fact that we were absent, black women were absent, we were never portrayed in that. And so rewriting history really becomes this contemporary way of presenting um, a painting. So instead of you know, using, a paint, using paint and brush like the old masters, I'm using camera and Photoshop to paint and Photoshop to do um, what I was loving in the museum. So rewriting history, one goal of this series is to never, ever, ever victimize my subject. You know, even in one piece where there's, a, there's the whip marks on the back of the dress, Madame Bouvard's painting, um, it took me some time to decide to put that on the dress. I needed to reconcile that because it was always this dance, this communication that I was having. It's important to talk about that but if I put it on the dress, do I now suddenly victimize my subject? And I made it work in a way where that didn't happen. And I felt that showing our, our reality of injustice through beauty was, was a different way of going about that, that, that it was more powerful in a sense, because now the conversation opens up to more people. So it's not trying to get the attention of just people of color, but also saying, um, you know, everybody can really look at this um, and, and be open to having a conversation about, about trauma and violence against black bodies. No, I actually, I never thought that um, diving into that space of sorrow uh, was something to prevent me from doing the work. If anything, it propelled me forward and it was like, okay, this, is, this has to be talked about. Um, and I felt, I felt empowered, you know. I'm, I don't have the personality that, that is at the, you know, you know, maybe I'm not in a march, maybe I'm not necessarily on camera, you know, speaking out. My voice is through the artwork that I create. I'm an activist in that way. Um, and so in, in, the ability to be able to use my voice to speak out in that way really allowed me um, this sense of, of, 
of pride. I felt like I was, you know, participating in some way, which is important. I think that we all need to participate in some way to change things. So I feel like this is a lifelong project. And in, in my conversation about um, violence, um, celebration, identity, um, history, and um, also talking about fashion and talking about um, how fashion is used to separate people.